Good morning and welcome to Little by Little, a short time in God's Word. Turn with me one more time to Revelation chapter 15. Then I saw another sign in heaven, great and amazing, seven angels with seven plagues, which are the last, for with them the wrath of God is finished. I saw what appeared to be a sea of glass mingled with fire, and also those who had conquered the beast and its image and the number of its name, standing beside the sea of glass with harps of God in their hands. And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and amazing are your deeds, O Lord God the Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O King of the nations. Who will not fear, O Lord, and glorify your name? For you alone are holy. All nations will come and worship you, for your righteous acts have been revealed. After this I looked, and the sanctuary of the tent of witness in heaven was opened. And out of the sanctuary came the seven angels with the seven plagues, clothed in pure bright linen with golden sashes around their chests. And one of the four living creatures gave to the seven angels seven golden bowls full of the wrath of God, who lives forever and ever. The sanctuary was filled with smoke from the glory of God and from his power, and no one can enter the sanctuary until the seven plagues of the seven angels were finished. As we close out chapter 15, we see that the events that are going to unfold in judgment that is going to happen. There will be no going back, no stopping it. Uh, the seven angels come out of and from the presence of God. So the judgment that they're going to deliver is not their own. The authority that they're going to exercise is not their own. It's all of and from God. The seven angels are dressed in white. It tells us that God's judgments are pure, that they are right and righteous. In other words, it's not the grim reaper dressed in black. It's not a vigilante group or it's not God being unfair. The judgment that follows is pure and holy. The seven angels were given the bowls of the wrath of God. Notice, he's the one who lives forever and ever. It's a good little reminder. God is, God was, and God always will be. Here's the good part of that. He's had time to prove himself faithful. He's also completely aware of all things. He's in charge, even when it seems like he's not. And the sanctuary then is filled with smoke from the glory of God and from his power. It refers in a reminder back to Exodus chapter 30, verse 34. The cloud covered the tabernacle of meeting and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. And Moses was not able to enter the tabernacle of meeting because the cloud rested above it and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. God's glory, God's directive, God's power. No one could enter. And that would last until the plagues were finished. We were reminded and told of coming judgment. We've talked about that. We see the directives of God that they're pure and they're righteous. If that's true during the last days, it stands to reason that it would be true today. In other words, what we read from the Word is as pure and righteous as the instructions given to angels. Are you listening? Are you obeying God and His Word? Till next time. Little by little.